when I suddenly entered the classroom, the three of them looked at me in shock. <laughs> Why are you here? What the hell? You... Hey, doesn't she seem a bit off? Those three girls in the classroom looked at my face with fear. I looked down at my feet and found a bag of contents had been scattered on the floor. I saw a box cutter. Without hesitation, I picked up the knife and approached them. I slowly pushed out the blade, slowly walking towards them. Hey! What do you think you're gonna do with that? I'm so sorry. Stop it. It's Sue. They trembled in fear at the box cutter I held in my hands. It's not Ayano's fault. It was gonna happen. Even now, you all treat me the exact same. But I speak especially hate the two of you. <laughs> S stop When I looked at the fear in their faces, I felt immense joy. Up till now, I've been treated no better than dirt. I would make them cry and beg for my mercy. <laughs> I've always endured everything up till now. Always, 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 always! It was as if all my hatred and suffering was finally exploding. My voice got louder and louder. Ugh! You had to stop! <laughs> Why won't you apologize to me? Don't you think that'll make me stop? I always, always apologize, and you never stopped. That's why I can't forgive you. This is my revenge. After saying that, I got even closer. I was dead serious. And then the three girls who bullied me began to cry and say, Please, we'll, we'll stop picking on you. Please forgive us already. She tried to hide her sobs by lowering her head. And I came back to my senses. Right, that's what this is about. I wanted to show that I could be a strong person. If you want to change how you're treated, you yourself have to change. I slowly got closer. The girls had collapsed to their knees with terror on the floor. I looked down into their eyes with coldness. I really was going to hurt them with that knife, but I didn't dare. Without saying a word, I turned my back to those three and left the classroom. From that day on, I had changed. I would protect only myself. I would no longer tolerate any kind of bullying. I erased my old image, greatly changing both inside and outside. I stopped putting my hair up in braids. I even stopped wearing my glasses. For the first time, everyone was shocked at my transformation. Ever since that day, those three bullies never messed with me again. Yes, I then invented a new past for the new Ritsu. The old me was weak, but I am not the same person as I was then. In order to protect myself, I had to kill the old, weaker me. That's why I'll sacrifice anyone if it means protecting myself. 
I will absolutely escape this wolf game alive. My memories are just memories I don't want to remember. Why, of all day, did I have to remember my past now? I thought I had thrown away those horrible memories. I wonder if it has something to do with being the wolf and doing what I can to stay alive. It's almost time for the wolf trial. I decided to go check and see if I had accidentally left any clues behind. And so, I headed towards the storeroom. When I entered the storeroom, no one was there. I slowly went over the room, piece by piece. It was then that I had noticed I had made a mistake with my crime. After I killed Chie, I had attempted to conceal the nature on how I entered the room through the air vent. And so I had to move the shelf content to the other side in order to make it light enough to move. After I killed Chie, I had left through the air vent, but left the wrong shelf filled. Crap! Like this, I'll... Without a second thought, I quickly moved all the items from the other shelf to the one in front of the air vent. After finishing moving everything, I felt more at ease and quickly left the room. <sighs> it's a good thing I fixed that. Alright, let's hang out in the living room until the trial starts. When I entered the living room, Ko was there. Almost time for the trial, huh? Oh, yeah, right. I have to make sure that I put all the blame on Ko during the trial. Anyway, I've done everything I can for now. I gotta calm down. I want the trial now. I did my best to engage in normal chit chat with Ko, waiting for the trial to begin. Let us begin the fourth wolf trial. There's only four of you left, huh? I remember when there were so many of you guys. So lively. How sad. Okay, okay. I made it look like Shie had offed herself in the storeroom. And if the stake suicide is uncovered, then I can use my evidence to implicate Ko for the crime. Then, I just gotta make the argument stick. I will absolutely stay alive. Well then, let's start the wolf trial. First, let's try laying out the basics of this case. We found Chie sitting in a chair in the storeroom, appearing to have drunk poison. However, the crime scene could not be accessed because it had been locked from the inside. Then, we did what we had to to open the door, but she was already dead. Jia also had a suicide note in her lap. She wrote that she couldn't handle the burden of being the wolf, so she chose to end it all. But did she really kill herself? Yeah. But she wrote a suicide letter and the door was locked. How can it not be? Nice. Rentaro fully believes it was a suicide. Well, about that suicide note, I found something interesting. Ugh. Why'd he have to butt in? He couldn't let things be easy. What did Yukinari notice? Oh, did you find something strange, too? I... I found one of Chie's poems. Chie had hidden it really well inside her box. Oh, yeah. 
I remember when I was following her to her room that she had been writing something. I want you to pay attention to the handwriting. Isn't the handwriting completely different? Yeah, if you compare the two, they look nothing alike. That's right. Shit. Guess it wasn't that difficult to realize it wasn't a suicide? But I'm still okay. I'll just have to use my evidence to pin it on Ko. But for now, I gotta act like the writing being different is a complete shock to me. It really is completely different. Then the wolf wanted us to find this letter saying that Chie was the wolf. So, doesn't that mean that she wasn't killed by herself, but by the wolf? Maybe. Yukinari, what fantastic evidence you found. <laughs> this Yukinari guy, he's messing it all up. Somehow, I gotta manipulate the discussion to target Ko. Well then, who the hell wrote this to make it look like Shiei did it? That's... I don't know. Surely the wolf would have used Chie's own paper and pen to do this, right? Actually, Chie used a completely different pen and paper to write her poem. Huh? Is that true? I wonder if the wolf took Chie's belongings. Whatever for, why would the wolf bother doing that? Perhaps. Maybe Chie's paper and pen had already been used up. Then the wolf had to use their own. I see. That is a way of thinking about it. Right. Then where did the wolf get their pen and paper from? Right. Like this, I'll lead them down the right path. If I keep it this way, I can put the blame on somebody else. The suicide pen and paper belong to Ko.